morning guys and welcome back to the channel. Hope you all had a lovely Christmas. Ours was a bit hectic. Got so many children, toys everywhere. We've had to try and make a bit of space for, for all the toys, but it's the beauty of having children, I guess. Anyway, I'm just on my way down to a well-known motor factors to get myself some power steering fluid. I woke up yesterday morning and seen there was some substance that had been leaking on my drive underneath the car. And rather than clamber underneath the car um, to have a look in this grotty weather, I thought, well, I'll just hang on until we go back and get the car on the ramp. But unfortunately, I went to pull out the drive yesterday evening and um, the steering felt a little bit notchy. So I thought, ah, it's power steering fluid. So I have a little bit of a leak somewhere under the car or in the um, under the engine bay. So I'm just going to head on down there, grab some uh, power steering fluid, and um, see if that does the job temporarily. Hopefully, it hasn't buggered the pump up. So I've just been and picked up the hydraulic fluid. Well, let's get some of this stuff in there and see if it shuts the pump up. Sounds a little bit rough when I turn the wheel. Just take the cap off. Turn the wheel. Let's see if it's it seems to be on the right level now. Just gonna see how that goes on the way home. Fingers crossed. Still obviously ain't gonna solve the leak, but looking from down here or from up here, I can't seem to see any leak. So there clearly was because it's all over me drive, but there we go. We shall see. Right, so fingers crossed that does the job. I've just been out and um, started the engine up and turned the wheel and it does seem a lot quieter. So hopefully I haven't bugged the pump up there. Right, so it's now the day after Boxing Day. Obviously we're not back officially until the 4th, but I've just popped in to do a couple of little bits. And um, I did get an email saying that they had received, Race Technologies had received our dash. So hopefully, we should get back, that back sort of middle of January and I can get that get that back in the kit car. As I say, I'm just waiting for a, a dryish day really so I can take this out. I'm absolutely buzzing to have a go in this kit car, but it's not really worth taking it out in this weather, to be honest with you. Sort of be all over the shop and it would get it real shitty and we've just, we've only just done it, so. Right, let's have a little look, see what we've got in here ready for when we get back. So we've had another load of work come in from a, a channel watcher. So really appreciate that. This is an MX-5 engine. We've, as you can see, we've cleaned up the cylinder head already and give it a face. Uh, that's took about 10,000 to clean that face actually, because it was blowing a gasket. Now what I'm gonna do when I get back is I'm gonna cut the valves and seats and the guy's gonna do the clearances himself. Uh, whoops, we've got the crankshaft up by the crank grinder. That's ready to be polished or checked and polished. And then we've got to balance the crank assembly. He's gone away and he's bought his own rods and pistons. So I'm gonna check the balance and the weight on those. And we're gonna check that he wants the clearances checked with plastic gauge from, um, on the crank. So I've got the block up there being bored. So I'll just show you this. So there's the block. I've bored and honed that. And as you can see, I've faced the block as well. That again, that took about sort of five thou to clean that, five or six thou. So I'm gonna to have to let the customer know because he's gonna to have to do a dummy build on this. Um, I'm just waiting for it to cool and then I will, <laughs> 
Well, it's been there for a few days, so it should be called by the 4th. But I'll just give it a double check, make sure it's all good on the running clearance, and then that can be washed and it's all done. Um, so the crank assembly is... He's over there, ready to be balanced. So I shall do a little video on, on balancing that because you guys seem to really like the, the crank balancer. Seems a little bit therapeutic to watch. These are the guy's pistons. He's got CP pistons, as you can see. Very nice item. Very nice. Uh, finished lovely. So yeah. But as I say, he's going to be doing his, his own build on that. So that's what we've got come in there. So the alpha block that I showed you, which we're waiting on tooling for to do the inserts down at the base of the block. The customer did come in the last week before Christmas and bought us another one to do. Now this one, as you can see, that is one of the reasons that the other one got welded up. As you can see, that is horrible down the base of there. But the only advantage is with this, it has got the original threads in. So, as bad as it looks at the moment, we probably can do something with this. So we're gonna have a good look as to whether to start welding up around some of the real bad bits like this. As you can see, it's, it's had some welding already, albeit not very nice. And, um, see if we can you know between sort of heli coiling and chemical metalling and um and some welding we may be able to do something with this because obviously these seats here where the liners sit are the, are the very important bits and obviously in here to get as much thread in as we can so we're going to see when we get back if we can do anything with that i think the advantage is with this because it's had no welding the, the surface of the block here compared to this face where the liner sits is pretty much standard. Although this has been faced, it's only had a little bit off. So I think that's pretty much standard. So we're not gonna have to do much modding on the liners there. So one last update on this video, uh, the Cosworth, the four build disaster Cosworth of a, of a customer of ours. Remember, you, we did a video on it. Um, the, you know, we built the, the motor, or the motor has been built sort of four times and gone away to be tuned. And, you know, whatever happened in between, it's it sort of pooped itself every time. Uh, so the good news is, the guy did send me a video, and here it is. So as you can see, that's really good news. He said the engine sounds absolutely sweet as a nut and he's gonna go away now. And in, whereas before, I think the thing was running on, on the dyno. So probably not the best idea, although for race cars and what have you, and you know, competition engines, sometimes you've got no other choice, but it's always best to go away and put some road miles on if you can. So the car fortunately is road legal. He's gonna go away and he's gonna put some serious road miles on it and just drive it normally. Um, he has got a decent map on it now. Seems to be running fine. It's not over fueling or anything like that. So he's, we're gonna keep some boost off it. Just put a good few miles on in, with the running in oil in it. And um, fingers crossed that holds together and all stays hunky-dory for um, for when he wants to use it next year, obviously. Um, yeah, as I say, it sounds really sweet. So just glad that I did hear it at that track day and um, suggest that he did pull the motor because, albeit we had to rebuild it anyway, we've at least saved the main bits of the engine, you know, the, the expensive bits like the crankshaft and maybe chucking a rod out the block or something like that. So although it is very annoying for him and slightly annoying for us, because it's cost us both, um, fingers crossed, that thing's gonna hold together and run perfect next year. And um, we can take you guys along and, and, and sort of see it in action on some tracks. 
But yeah, that's it for today, guys. As I say, we're not open till the 4th, but I am going to be in this week now and again. And just, um, we always have people dropping stuff in, in between Christmas. I get people messaging me and, um, and ringing up on my mobile to, to sort of see when I can bring things in. So if I can accommodate, I only live a few miles up the road, so I'll pop in and, and take that stuff in. And, um, but yeah, until then, stay safe. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and um, I'll see you in another video. Take care. Cheers.